You've heard me say many times before on this channel that I consider the Shearwater Perdix to be the greatest dive computer of all time. The Shearwater Perdix is the greatest dive computer that's ever been made. The greatest dive computer the world has ever seen, the Shearwater Perdix. You're gonna have to buy a Perdix. That would be my recommendation. I have yet to hear a peep in the comment section of any of our videos that disputes this, and as such, it must now be considered fact. But did Shearwater improve on perfection with the Perdix 2? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. As always, so great to see all of your smiling faces. I hope you're doing really, really well. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We make videos with one simple goal in mind, and that's to help make you a better, more well-informed scuba diver. Now, earlier this year, Shearwater released updates of their two flagship models, namely the Perdix 2 and the Petrol 3, and they were kind enough to send me one of each for review. We will deal with the Petrol 3 in a future video so if you haven't done so already make your next dive on our subscribe button and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss that one coming up this is not a sponsored review i did not receive any financial compensation they did send me the two computers to dive and test and review for free and you'll have to be the own judge as to whether or not that swayed my opinion. In this video, we are going to go over the differences between the Perdix and the new Perdix 2, and I'm going to answer your questions as to whether or not Perdix first gen owners should upgrade to the Perdix 2. So let's start with the differences then. What has changed? The first point to note is that the two computers are 95% the same. Shearwater are smart enough not to mess with success. The casing is the same. The user changeable battery is still an AA with the same battery compartment and the same double O-ring cap. The algorithm and all the software firmware is the same. The menu system is the same. So if you do decide to upgrade from a Gen 1 to a Perdix 2, you won't have to learn an entirely new computer. Uh, everything will feel familiar and that's always nice. You still have AI with up to four transmitters for you side monkeys. 
So what has changed? What is new? Well, the first thing of note is vibration alerts. I am a big fan of this feature. I hate audible alerts on a computer. The first thing I do when I get a new dive computer is turn all the audible beeps and chirps off. Uh, I understand their importance, but there is no more grating sound underwater than a chirping dive computer. The audible alarms are gone with the Perdix 2. This is a very welcome upgrade in my opinion. And you can even test the vibration setting before you get in the water. And I'm pretty sure you'll feel this even through the sleeve of the thickest dry suit, even though I haven't tested that myself because, well, South Florida. The main body of the case is the same but the Perdix 2 receives an upgrade titanium bezel, which comes in either silver or a black finish. Uh, as you can see, I've already put some dings on mine over the 29 dives I've done so far. It still looks nice and sharp and nice and fresh. The intro sequence, by the way, uh, we shot in the Cayman Islands in at the beginning of June. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's just some underwater footage of me actually using the computer to prove that we do get the products wet that I actually review on this channel. The screen is the same 2.2 inch full color LED LCD, but now it's overlaid with an aluminous silicate glass, which adds to the high sharpness resolution. So in this example, I have both of these computers set to high on the brightness setting, and the Perdix 2 is noticeably brighter and sharper, despite the fact that the actual LCD screen is the same. And the buttons received an upgrade. The buttons on the Perdix were already pretty excellent, but now the Piezo electric controls come with a titanium cover and have adjustable sensitivity. I personally set mine to low as that best suits my Gorilla Paws and avoids accidental button taps. Uh, Piezo electric incidentally is based on the premise that certain minerals, in particular metallic crystals, hold an electrical charge that can be discharged when pressure is applied, making an ideal medium to use for buttons on electrical systems. That's what piezoelectric means, FYI. Okay, so vibration, bezel, glass, buttons. That's it. Subtle upgrades. Shearwater are not reinventing the wheel here, and I don't blame them. These are beautifully thought out little tiny upgrades to what is already a classic piece of kit. The original Perdix was released in, what, January 2016 and the AI version following sort of 10 months later. And then nothing except for the occasional firmware update until now. So it's nice that they've revisited a classic that they know is selling well year after year after year. And they've just made sensible little touches. So to answer the video's title question, yes, in my opinion, the best just got better. But if I already owned a Perdix AI, as you can see, I do. I have a huge stack of Shearwater computers over there. Would I upgrade to the Perdix 2? Probably yes, and here's why. Shearwaters hold their value on the resale market incredibly well. Whenever Shearwater releases a new computer, the secondhand online markets are flooded with the older models for sale. And I see Perdix AIs regularly going for seven to 800 US dollars. That's a 2016 dive computer that was $995 new. So the difference in value between selling my old Perdix AI and buying a new Perdix 2 becomes three to $400, depending what you can get for your old computer in your local area. Then absolutely I am making that investment for the vibration alarm feature alone. I mean, that sells it for me, really. My question to you is, do you agree? If you ain't a Perdix generation one, is the Perdix 2 enough of an up improvement to make you want to upgrade? As always, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Dive on that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next video. Dive safe, dive often.